Six great features built into macOS Safari. Let's take a look. All right, so today's video, a lot of people use Safari as their main browser. If, you're, if you have an Apple computer, you're probably using Safari. I actually use Safari, sometimes Chrome. Anyway, Safari has a lot of different built-in features into it, and what I wanna to do today is just go through six. I'm gonna go through six of the, you know, kind of hidden, hidden secrets, I guess, but I don't think they're that hidden. I think a lot of people might know about these, maybe you won't, but um, they're, they're features that really help you out. They're little, teeny little kind of features that are built in that will, you know, accomplish things that you may not know it's possible. And I just wanted to kind of go ahead and uncover them for you. So if you use Safari a lot in Mac OS, you know, watch the video. I'm just gonna go through the six pretty quickly here and just show you what they are, what's the advantage of them and why I use them. And then at the end of the video, I'll just wrap it up. We'll go from there. All right, so the first tip is called Reader View, and a lot of people might know this, but if you're looking at this web page right now, and look at all this stuff on it, there's a bunch of ads and everything else, and there's an article kind of in the middle. So all you have to do really on this one is you go, here's my uh, clicker, you can see it here. You go up to the menu bar up here on the left-hand side, there's like a little, it looks like a little piece of paper. That's kind of the Reader View button. You go ahead and click that. What it basically does is it removes a lot of the junk, and it just lets you read the article, as you can see. So a lot of those ads and things are now gone and just the article and all the text and stuff's in there. So if I go back, see all this stuff on the side, all the ads and everything. So it basically lets you avoid all the ads and just read the article and that's what it's for. All right, so my next tip is gonna be very similar to the first one, but let's just say you're traveling on a plane, maybe a long while from now or something else, but you need to actually take some documents offline and you wanna save a website. So here's, you know, here's a web page again, the same one I was showing you. What you want to do here is you want to go up to your menu bar up here. You want to go to File, and then you can go to Export as a PDF. What it allows you to do is it lets you go ahead and save this, which I'm going to go ahead and do. And then it'll save this whole entire web page as a PDF. So then all you have to do is go back over to your Finder. Let's just go ahead and here's the article as a PDF. So if I click on the button, there it is, saved as a PDF. So now I can go in here and read this later if I want to on a plane or something. You know, there's an article I like, I just like to save it that way, so in case the article goes away later, you can save it that way. Anyways, the PDFs are going to stay with you forever, so if you want to capture something, do that, and that's one of the other tips. Alright, so the third great feature of Safari will be, let's say you have multiple tabs open, I have three tabs open right now. If you look at this last tab here, this is going to be, you know, Fox News, I got CNN open, and I got, um, I think it's Yahoo News. So the last one's Fox News. Let me go ahead and start playing this so that you hear something in the background. And I'm gonna show you, like there's usually a problem everyone has. Let's say this is playing, but let's say you're on this tab and that thing came up. You can hear it. Hear that? So it's playing, but you don't know what tab. Let's say you have 100 tabs open. The one thing you wanna do is, if you go up to the tabs up here, look for a little, it's basically a volume sensor or a volume icon, I'm sorry. The other ones don't have it. This one has the volume icon. If you click it, it'll mute that. See that? So basically, if you bring up on a whole bunch of different um, tabs up here, and you know like some of the sites are notorious for bringing up ads later, you can either come up here and just mute it right away, um, even before it starts playing, or you can mute it. Um, but long story short is if, you, you know, if you're kind of looking around to see what tab actually is playing the music or the sound, go ahead and look for that little icon up there, click it, it'll mute it, and then you're all set. All right, so the fourth tip I think a lot of people know, but I'm going to show you. So you can do a kind of a picture-in-picture. Picture. I'm in Safari. I'm on YouTube. So if you're on YouTube, I'm going to play this video. I'm going to mute it so you can hear me. Hold on a second. So let me go ahead and mute this a little bit. Um, there we go. So let's say you want to kind of float this over your work. All you have to do is, like, if you first of all, if you right-click on this video, you're going to get this basic menu. But if you double right-click, there it is. I'm going to get a different menu. So double right-click, and you're going to do Enter Picture-in-Picture. And see that? So what it does is it basically will float this window that I just was watching on YouTube way up here. So then if I basically open up something else, let's say something I'm working on right now like this, the same video, see how it stays up there and floats? So you can kind of do your work and have this kind of floating over it. Um, other sites in Safari, you know, that's for YouTube and that works really well. Um, let me go ahead and shut that down. So if you go to... Um, Vimeo. Um, basically on this site it's kind of the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and play it. Um, this one's a little bit different. There's actually a down here in the menu bar there's an enter picture in picture and it does that. So that's actually in the menu bar and Vimeo where basically the other one on YouTube is a double right click. All right the fifth tip for Safari is pretty straightforward. Let's say you're in a website. It can be any web page. Here's one of them. Just so you're kind of reading through everything. 
when you come to like something like Center for Con Center for Disease Control and Prevention, you don't know what that is or what that's all about. So you can basically take your, your uh, pointer here and go ahead and select that. Then you want to do is just right click on it. And then there's a little thing here called Lookup Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. You want to click that. And as you can see, right off the bat, it gives you like a little bit of information about that. And you can do this with words and organizations and things like that. But it tells you when it was established, you know, what it does. You know, employees 15,000, just a world of information, including a phone number. It pulls that out of there. So you can basically right click and just take, you know, diff just various words and get more information on them or different types of organizations and get more information on there. So again, you just highlight the text, right click on it, look up disease control, whatever you had selected, and it'll come right up. That's a great built in feature. All right, so my sixth final tip for Safari it's pretty easy. Let's say, let's see up here, I have three different tabs open. Let's just say I use a tab a lot, like Google all the time or something. If you right click on this and click pin tab, what it's gonna do is it's gonna move this tab over here and keep it there. And I'll show you in a second what this does. So see here's Google. I'm gonna right click, click pin tab. You notice that now I only have two tabs open, right? But it made Google go over here. See it over here? And you can actually unpin this if you want to, but Google's now stuck up in, in, the, in the menu bar up here, not the menu bar, but this tab bar up here. And if I click on it, it'll take me back to Google. So it's always going to be there. So if I like another website like this iPhone site here, I'm going to right click on it, click pin tab. Now I have Google over to the left hand side and the Apple icon over here. You can see them both in the corner. And I can just basically go back and forth really easily and then you know all my other tabs will stay open like normal. So it basically just creates these little teeny tabs on the left hand side, moves them way to the left just so you, you, know, you can get to them on a regular basis. Check it out, fool around with it, see if it helps you. All right, so what did you think? I mean, obviously there's a ton of other features and I'm gonna go ahead and maybe have a different video on that. Right now though, this is just six that I, you know, kind of came off the top of my head. I just wanted to kind of share with people that are out there and uh, definitely put in the comments any good features you have in uh, Safari as well. And we'll kind of, you know, we'll make another video and I'll maybe throw some of those comments in. Um, anyways, I make videos on a whole bunch of different stuff, including, as you well know, a lot of tech videos, a lot of Apple stuff, mostly Apple, do PC stuff as well, and then I do travel and finance, but I haven't done those for a while because of what's going on. Stay safe outside, and uh, you know, hopefully we'll get, get past this pretty soon, uh, the, you know, the coronavirus. So in any case, uh, take care, and I will talk to you guys in maybe two or three days. I usually do videos every couple days. Take care.